Hello everybody, my name is Shabuna Isaac Bear from Bear Shine Slab. Welcome to Parallelograms. Now what are parallelograms? Well, they look something like this. Now, some main features are that opposite sides are congruent. Also, opposite angles are congruent. So we have A, B, C, D. Then we have A congruent to D and C congruent to B. <coughs> now, adjacent angles like AB and AC, uh, A and C, or A and B, or B and D and B and A, they are supplementary. So, congruent. Also, if we take the diagonals, the diagonals are not congruent to each other. So AD is not equal uh, or congruent to BC. The diagonals also cut the um, parallelogram into two triangles each. So now that is all I wanted to say about the parallelogram. Now, what about some other shapes that are similar to the parallelogram? Well, let's say we have three shapes. So, the final one, going to draw a bit like this. So, now, rotate it. Good. And now, I'm going to take this, clone it. And now, I probably could have done this faster by just taking two sides and cloning them by twisting them. But I'm not a fast guy. So anyway, here are three objects. You probably know this one is the square, this one is the rectangle, and this one as the rhombus. Now, the rhombus looks no different to a parallelogram, yes? Well, however, all of its sides are congruent. However, all of its angles are not congruent. In fact, they follow the same rules as the angles in the parallelogram. Its diagonals are also not congruent. So these two are not congruent. However, they are perpendicular, unlike in what we had earlier. All right, what about the rectangle? Well, the rectangle has four right angles. They will always have four right angles. That's the defining property of them. Now, their diagonals are congruent and opposite sides are congruent for them. However, their diagonals are not perpendicular. And they don't bisect the angles. However, they do bisect the angles for the rhombus and for our parallelogram. So, <coughs> that is for our rectangle. Now, what about the square? Well, the square has four right angles. They, uh, it's really just the love child of the rectangle and the rhombus. It's <coughs> it has uh, perpendicular diagonals. And it's an angle bisector. congruent diagonals, all congruent sides, so it really has some properties of the rectangle, some properties of the rhombus. So, once I, as I said, once again, all four sides congruent, like the rhombus. All four, <coughs> there are four right angles, like the rectangle. There are congruent diagonals, like the rectangle. There are perpendicular diagonals, like the rhombus. They are angle bisector diagonals, which is also an attribute of the rhombus. So, those are, <coughs> those are some parallelograms and shapes similar to the parallelograms.